Uh, thank you, Josh. Um, how do you feel about you? You come back and uh, the chance maybe to do uh, do it all again next week. Yeah, well, it's nice to get um, our 75 minutes under my belt. Um, it was good uh, last last Friday to get 80 minutes with uh, Cardiff, but um, yeah, it's obviously a step up um, internationally. Um, but it was, it was good to get out there. Obviously, shame about the result. Um, felt like we probably left a few chances out there and probably, well, could have got the win. Frustration after uh, two narrow defeats in a row now? Yeah, um, obviously against England, um, left at the last minute to try and claw it back and um, a narrow defeat at home. Um, like oh, Everyone's disappointed, we spoke about it um, in the huddle and just like, we did leave chances, played a lot better, um, played a lot of rugby in their half, but credit to France for the, the, the defence. Um, obviously Sean Edwards, with uh, which was hard to break down and fair play to them. As well as your comeback and that of Tolupe Falato in recent weeks, we've heard now that uh, Alan Wynne Jones will be available for selection against Italy. Uh, how much does that uh, benefit the squad? Um, I, di I didn't know that until you said. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a massive part of the team and he's, he's a big character as well, and um, leadership um, and just the standards he brings in training as well. Um, it would be nice to see him back on. Uh, on the pitch, um, obviously, uh, fingers crossed, um, he comes through well and does all the. Don't know what's going on there, but he does all the, uh, all the rehab and contact prep he needs to do and get himself right. And how much is there to gain from the final weekend of the season then for Wales, with everyone expecting you to put a shed load of points on the Italians? Um, it's, it's massive, just to. Uh, to put an 80 minutes performance and get our win. Um, we'll look back at this game and uh, see what we can put right and um, build into next week. Obviously, Italy home is still going to be a tough one, um, but uh, we just need to put a performance in and uh, get our win now. Thank you, Josh. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, Hamish, coming to you. Hi Josh. Presumably the um, yeah the last few months of trying to trying to get back fit was was for tonight. Was this always a, a target, or was it sort of beyond your hopes and expectations? Um, it was it was beyond really. Um, I didn't realise I was going to get called in or anything. It was little chats and rumours, but at the end of the day, I was looking for Cardiff first, and I knew being out for four and a half months, I need to just put in the work, make sure my shoulders right and strong, and. Um, I was lucky to get out against Ulster, get a hit out, and get a surprise phone call the the next day. But like, obviously, you grab it with both hands and can never turn it down. So yeah, it's just nice to be amongst the squad. Um, I didn't realise I was going to play, um, but I thought I was just going to come into train. But it's nice to actually get back out there and uh, in front of a home crowd. In that game against Ulster to 75 minutes against the team, everyone's saying the best in the world at the moment. What was the step up like from where you were, say, two weeks ago? Um, yeah, it was, it was tough out in Ulster. Um, obviously, international rugby is a, is a lot quicker. Um, but I felt like my, my lungs and legs were there. Um, last week, I probably struggled a bit, but I felt like I um, felt a bit better. Um, Still, maybe to me personally, I'm probably five percent off. But I always say my third game last week come into my stride. So fingers crossed, all hard work, hard work's been done, and um, I'm back to 100 percent. So sometimes there are changes against Italy, but you're going to be desperate to carry on and, and go again. Then have your third game. That sound of it. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I'm not too sure what team selection will be and all that, but fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, get a get a nod again. Sorry, last one from me. When you got the injury, how, how difficult was it to go through that, that period, miss all those games at that point? Um, to be honest, I haven't missed that much rugby um, for Cardiff. Um, we still got 12 games left, but um, obviously missing the autumn and then the start of the Six Nations is, is it, it's always um, disappointing, but there's a lot of rugby still to be played and um, the shoulder's feeling strong. It's, I've had the tests and bands on it now and it's, it's feeling good.